morning, everybody. My name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the first installment of my Franklin Covey setup for 2023. Um, I'm calling this like my goals, um, I guess, and, and like paperwork filling out video because um, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to have a final flip through and just explain how I was going to set up my Franklin Covey Classic Planner for the year of 2023. But I realized that I had so many inserts I wanted to fill out with you guys prior to doing that. And I actually just finished filming my Cultivate What Matters prep work. So everything is done. I do not have goals set up for January, but I do have separate videos for the new year coming for actually like starting in January. But what I wanted to show you today was just some of the worksheets involved in my Franklin Covey planning process that I would be including in my planner. And this will probably be split up into either two or three sections because, um, again, there's just so much. So I just wanted to break it up and make it easier to, to kind of handle, if you know what I mean. So the first, um, the first inserts I have here, I have not opened them. As you can see, this is the cloth and paper, um, year overview. So basically it's your quarterly goals kind of written down at a snapshot. And, um, if you want to check it out, I do have, um, how I fill these out. I think it was, at the beginning of each quarter. So um, I think October, remember December, I think I have one in October. I think I have one for July, so June or July. Um, anyway, so I, I do have them throughout my monthly videos, but um, I'll be filling this out in probably the second video because I have, um, for the most part, I have my quarterly goals and there's some ideas I wanna write down, but I like to leave some of it blank because I don't know what will happen. I don't know which books I want to read, etc. Right. So um, I don't set this up right now. And you'll see that this is punched for an eight, eight hole disc punch. And that's because uh, cloth and paper does not sell half letter size inserts that come punched for Franklin. And they also don't sell unpunched inserts either. The only way you can get those is through the monthly subscription boxes. And then you don't really have a choice in which inserts you're going to get. It's kind of like a surprise. So um, my workaround is I add washi tape here. Um, I, I reinforce the holes. Well, actually, so I hole punch it first. Then I reinforce the holes and then I add washi tape on top to make it look pretty. And then I punch it again. And so um, that's my workaround in order to make it so it fits into my Franklin Covey. But anyway, this will be set aside for today. So um, a lot of these sheets, I, I think I'll, I'll, I should be able to tell you where I got them from. Might have to actually be broken up into three because honestly, there's so many different inserts here that I'm not gonna have time to go through everything. The first inserts, these are from the List Lab. And um, I purchased like this whole big package. I think it was 60 or $70, but you get tons of inserts that you can print any size that you want. I just downsize mine for to fit like half letter. There's some for home, there's some for business, some for blog, like everything that you could imagine you can get in there. But it's the listlab.net. And um, I would suggest checking checking it out because um, a lot of the inserts are really functional and they're really, um, like I use them all the time. So this first one is for my business. So all I'm doing on this page here, um, this will be for 2023. So I'm just going to write in the year. And this kind of gives me a snapshot of all of my income for my business for the entire month. So, um, like I said, like this is, I've been kind of integrating my business with my personal in my Franklin Covey. I do have a separate tab for it. So it's not like ingrained into like the big, the bigger picture of my planner, but, um, I do keep it in my planner just so it's all in one spot. So then these pages here, these are the sales stats tracker. This is simply for Etsy and for my website. So um, all I'm going to do here is put the month on each page. I do have it printed front and back. Okay. 
So then I've also included, um, these are like for the different sections of my planner. I just kind of separate them with like sticky notes, like um, little post-it tabs. I also have a business yearly overview. So um, I do have one of these for this year for 2022. And it's basically just a little snapshot of anything good that's happened or um, what my stats are for that month. So I'll put 2023 at the top and uh, that kind of goes at the beginning. So same thing here. This is for website analytics. I usually have two of these. So website analytics are actually for my website. So this is for Squarespace. Um, so again, 2023 and I'll put Squarespace here because this is for my website. And then um, I basically just fill out all of these things, which for me, this just helps me figure out like kind of my business growth and to see how many views I'm getting on my website. And then this one is for my blog. So this would be Medium because I do post my blog to my website as well as Medium, which is just like a nice platform for people to read your work. So I'll put Medium here. And then some of these topics I change, but I won't do that till I'm ready to use it. So um, I think visits and then one time would be like um, uh, followers and stuff like that. So I just white it out and rewrite it in. Okay, so I also have a purchase tracker. This will probably go under personal because uh, this is just like if I'm purchasing something I could use one for business and one for personal, I guess. But um, if I'm ordering stickers or something, I would um, put it under here just to see when I purchased it, where I purchased it from, so that I can tell you guys like what shop it's from. And yeah, so that'll probably go into personal. And then I also have password log. So I am kind of on the fence about these ones. I included them in here just in case I wanted to add passwords. I do have a a book that I keep in a secure location in my home with my passwords. And the only reason is because I've had it, um, like you guys know, like the problem with passwords is that you have to change them all the time. And your devices now, like devices are so smart that they recognize passwords, they remember passwords. But what happens if you reset your device? Or what happens if your computer crashes? Then you are screwed. So um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to write down everything and put it in my planner. I, I, I don't know if I like that idea because what if I lost my planner? But I have been pretty, pretty good with not losing my planner. It's pretty big and chunky and I, I doubt that I would lose it. Um, the only way it would be is if somebody stole it, but it's not like I have money in there or anything. So, um, so I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to use those for sure or not. Okay. So I'm going to pick and choose to see which inserts we can fill out today because, um, today won't be a huge, hugely long session only because, um, I do have some things that I have to take care of. I have to take my son to school soon. So I'll just kind of do a rundown of what we've got here. So I've got these inserts from, uh, Fancy Plans Co. And they're basically like these little blocks on a piece of paper that you can write in your routines. So my plan is to write routines in here. I've got all of them here listed. Skincare AM, skincare PM. Um, I'll probably also have a weekly one as well. A morning planner routine, an AM, afternoon, uh, PM and evening routine. Um, homework routine, and then my day theming and scheduling. So I don't know if I'll include all of that because right now I've got my day themes and schedule written out on regular pieces of paper in my planner, but it might change because as you guys might know, I am giving birth the end of December into January. So my routines might change. Um, things are obviously going to look a little bit different with a newborn in the house again. So um, that's what we have here. So this is an insert from Franklin Covey, and it is basically like I think they there was a few that came in the in the pack, and it's basically this fold out. So it gives you um, you can put the week of the year. I wouldn't do this weekly. I would just do this once, but it gives you like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like every day of the week with a note section at the end, and then you can put in names on the side. So my plan was to have a schedule for each of my kids. Okay. And um, so I'd have different things we do on every day. 
I put my son's name, my daughter's name, and then the baby's name. Baby is a bit different again because they're babies. They just grow so fast and the routines change. But um, things I could write on here, for instance, like when my son goes to school, Thursdays are his early dismissal. He doesn't have school on the weekend. So um, I think this is part a good kind of routine to follow. And I didn't want to write routines here necessarily for um, like my kids. So this one is just for me. But for instance, like my PM routine or evening routine would include some of the things for my kids, like for instance, giving my kids a bath because that involves my time. So I'm the one who's giving them a bath. So I would put that on there, give kids bath, if you know what I mean. Okay. So I won't be filling those out today because I need to establish what those routines are exactly before I fill them out. And then the same thing with this, this is like a weekly cleaning schedule. I have, these are both from Fancy Plans Co. I printed this one out. Um, because she offers PDF printable, so you don't have to wait for it to come in the mail. And then this, this is going to be perfect. This is something I might not fill out till January because, again, my system might change, my routines might change with the new baby. But what I want to do is to be able to keep up with my housework, okay? Um, so right now, like, there's times when I'll clean my bathroom once a week, and then there'll be times when I only do it every two weeks. And I want to be consistent and have a nice schedule where I'm doing like one thing a day so that I'm not like procrastinating and then putting it off and putting it off and then dreading it. So I just want to have it written on here. There are things I do every day. Like I do the dishes every day. I do laundry when it builds up and it's usually every day or every second day. So I want to do this, but I might leave that till later on. Okay. I also have check registers. Now these are from Franklin Covey and these are, um, this is going to be for tracking my sinking funds. So I think what we'll do is write on each of these, the sinking funds that I'm planning on tracking. So we'll go ahead and do that first. And then, um, the goals, this goal page is from Fancy Plans Co. as well. And the only reason I have separate goal planning pages in here, um, I would use the Franklin Covey pages, but I don't like the blue on there. It's it's not neutral enough for me. So I wanted to use these and I'm going to use them in uh, tandem with my overviews. So this would be, I might have like, um, I'll copy this from my Cultivate What Matters goal planner and then I'll have like new goals for each quarter or maybe for each month. I think this one would be for each quarter, but it'll be more of a focus. So I'll use these right behind this one here. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and read out all of my sinking funds on these sheets here. Okay, so what I did here was um, I had to reference my, I have one left over, but I'm going to keep it in here because there might be something I want to add after. So technically, I have my budget book here that I printed and punched for um, discs because the budget mom is not producing a printed and send copy of the budget book. So I had to print my PDF copy. Um, I'll link that video if you guys wanna check it out. It's got all of my finance goals. I'm using a Happy Planner cover and rings for that. I've got two separate videos for that. And because I'm not, it's basically because uh, my Franklin Covey is like, kind of like my catch-all planner, right? Like it's got a little bit of everything in it, but it's got my main schedule. But um, I like to have a snapshot of the money that I'm saving and how much I have available to spend. But at the same time, my finance section is such a big part of my life that um, it can't be, it, it needs to have its own place. So um, I keep that in my budget book, which is where I do my like weekly budgeting and my daily expense tracking. But uh, I do like to have a snapshot. So um, I've used those categories. There was a few new ones I came up with when I did my budget uh, for 2023. 
So I added Jeep tires separate from vehicle maintenance because um, it's just a separate expense I want to start saving for. Uh, my Jeep tires are very expensive. I usually get um, all season or all weather and then I also get mud tires for summer. So they're probably about $2,000 for four tires and that's trying to get them at a somewhat of a discount <laughs> because I also need to have rims in them as well. And uh, it's just really, really pricey. So Anyway, so that part is done. Um, I did copy the sinking funds. I'll be using the same as what I'm using right now, my Franklin Covey. So the next um, inserts, I think these are almost all cloth and paper inserts. Um, and then I've also got my Franklin Covey values and rolls. So maybe what we'll do, um, I'll show you what I have here and then we'll kind of go through the what there is. So for cloth and paper, this first one is for habits. This is something I think I'll set up in January because um, you can track habits. This is kind of what the insert looked like, but you only have room to track six habits at a time. And then this is kind of the same thing, but almost more for goals, I feel like. But then it has like the habits on the back. So I could technically use two of these for like 12 habits, but the problem with that is I won't have enough of these for every month. So I'm just going to use one and then I'm going to take this fancy plans co-tracker and add more on here if I needed to. So I do track this stuff in my bullet journal, but I want to do this in here just for like the main things. Like maybe I put this under health. I don't know. And then just track health stuff, like all of my medication, maybe um, that that's an idea or water, sleep and medication. So that might be something I'll do. But again, I'll do that come January because habits are they're going to change every month, too. OK, so here is my inserts for Franklin Covey. These, this is a Teresa Collins insert, but this is like an overview for 2023. And I, I want to write this out, but I'm not sure if I'm ready <laughs> to write this out I just want to do some brainstorming and figure out what I want to do with this because it says um this is basically your goal sheet like a goal overview right for for the entire year of 2023 and while I did finish my cultivate what matters prep work I don't really have um these like big ideas I guess for the whole year it's just kind of like working a work in progress towards kind of what I've already been working on for the last couple years so um I'll write down some ideas for this page and then we'll fill that out next time. I also stuck a couple of compass cards in here because this will be set up for January, um, just so I have them on hand. And then we have this, and I do like this. I wonder if I should fill this out now. Maybe I will, I'll just kind of fill out some ideas on the sheet. I just don't know um, what exactly I wanna put on here. I'm gonna pick out some colors. So you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if I have nine colors I want to use. Okay, so there's six. These colors are too close together. Two, four, six, eight, and I need one more color. Let's do this like peachy orange color. Now this is kind of like, kind of confusing for me because, <laughs> well, it's, it's like a fun project. For instance, like it says, what you love and your passion and your mission okay so like all of these kind of come together so i think what i'll focus on is just these here so um what you can be paid for well i mean you can be paid for all sorts of things okay um but i'm only going to be putting what i'm getting paid for right now so my business um basically so i'm going to write um blog sticker shop and videos okay so that's what I'm getting paid for I'm gonna keep this as reference on top of this so I know what I'm like what they are so that's what I can be paid for um, what I love and there might be multiple like <laughs> answers in each of these because there's lots of things I love so planning is like number one art and organization. I mean, there's lots of other things I love as well. Like I love my family, but that's not something that 
I don't think that fits in here. Um, what the world needs. I'm going to say positive light. And inspiration, maybe. Okay. And what you're skilled at. So, um, again, I could fill that up with a lot of different things, but um, what I'm skilled at, so planning, organization, <laughs> art, writing. Um, there's lots of things I'm skilled at. I'm also like a calculus major and a physics major, but that's not something that I'm, I'm not currently like working as a teacher. So otherwise I'd say like what I get paid for is being a teacher and then what I'm skilled at is like calculus, but that's not my role right now. That's not what I'm doing. So I like this. So now, <laughs> um, you can write in your passion, your profession, your vocation, and your mission. But again, so I think that's kind of where these two meet. That's your passion. So um, what you're skilled at and what you love. So my passion is planning art and organizations. I mean, it's pretty much all the same, right? Um, so instead of writing that all in there, these are basically the same. I'm just going to write arrows because that is, it's like exactly the same. Okay. Um, this is actually a little fun. Okay. So down here, I'm going to write my passion. I'm going to write that in here my passion. Passion is planning, art, and organization. Okay. And then the same thing for the next one. So this is your profession. This is what you should do as your profession. Okay. So I don't know why I chose all those other colors, but that's fine. Oops. So then this one will be my profession. So profession is um, maintaining my sticker shop making videos and blogging. So it's basically my business. I think I just spelled that wrong. Okay. Um, and then this one is your mission. So we're going to do that in blue. Oops, wrong blue. Should be the purple one. So mission would be um, inspiring people through planning, art, and organization. This is going to drive me crazy, so I'm just going to wait this out. And then the last one is 
and vocation. I always never really understood what they meant by vocation. Maybe I should look that up. Okay, so vocation is inspiring people with my physical, like with my business, I guess. Using my business to inspire people create ideas and create a positive learning environment. I really like this because I feel like it gives me a sense of like I don't know, artistic, <laughs> something like a visual, you know, like I don't really put visuals in my planner, but I feel like this is kind of nice for that. So I'm, I'm liking this. So I'm just going to do some color, some coloring here, guys, because why not? So we're just going to do this. I don't know why I'm doing this for, but we're just going to make it pretty. There we go. So that is my purpose. Um, this kind of actually gives me, I, I really like this because it gives me like um, a good starting off place for my my values and my roles. I really like that. Um, this is kind of a good start for this year. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm gonna leave that now. So the next thing that I have in the cloth and paper inserts, I've got this discovery ledger, which I think I'm gonna do in the next one. Um, this is kind of like part of that finding my purpose. So um, I think that this is going to be uh, really nice, like a journaling, I can put the date and stuff. So then there's a, a quote page, but the only reason I kept this is because um, it had, I guess I actually don't really need to have that in there. So the, there's step one. So yeah, I might not even, let's see. That might just be the beginning. Or maybe I can just put that colorful sheet at the beginning. I don't actually need this. I'm trying to like minimize as much as I can. Okay, so I think what we'll do is I'm going to do this part next time. Um, and then this is basically their six steps to identify and align your personal core values. I don't know if that is something I'll do before the Franklin Covey values and roles. And maybe I'll do this before because I think it will give me some good insights to kind of come down to um, a starting point with Franklin Covey inserts as well. So the first step is to, um, wow. Well, Let's see if I can find it. Step one, write down all the significant moments that taught you something important in your life. That's a big one, but we'll kind of go through that quickly. Step two is group and narrow them down. Step three is place an asterisk next to the ones that represent who you really are and those that support who you want to grow into. Step four is select 10 or fewer. They're the core values that you are and will be demonstrating daily. Okay, and then um, you've got some journaling areas here. It says do an inventory of where you are now and what you need can help you pinpoint what changes need to be made to help you continue to grow and flourish. Okay, so step, oh, there's not even any steps here. It's just like a journaling page. Um, so those are, yeah, I, I might keep that in here, but it says step five, every 30 days, spend 15 minutes evaluating your core values. So you ask all those questions and then step six is every 12 months to kind of do the same thing, ask those questions. So I'll keep that in here and I'll add um, those into my goals. So like every every month, every quarter, every six months, every 12 months, we'll see. Okay, so that's your values. And then I've got my preparations for the year. So this kind of falls into that Teresa Collins sheet. Um, it says your preparation. So like your word of the year and then all of the things that you want to focus on for that year. Um, and then your vision board. So this is like a vision board, but I might just put like 
point form notes in here instead of pictures because I haven't really established like I don't have pictures or anything and then there's a review for the year but that'll come at the end so yeah so I really like this and I think that I can do a lot more journaling like when I get a little bit more time I just wanted to introduce you guys to what this was all about and I think what it will do is I'll put um, I'll put this in front of here and then in front of this one I'm going to put my Teresa Collins okay the habits sheet might go in front of like it might go in my health section because I'm not sure if I want to put habits like all of my habits in my goal section because most of this stuff will be going into my goal section I think and then routines will go into my routine section of my planner which I have yeah, I think this is a good starting off point, guys. I'm really happy with what we've accomplished in this short little video. But this is kind of like an introduction just to show you guys what I have going on. So there's quite a few goals, um, things I want to cover in these videos. And then also, um, this is just kind of a quick walkthrough of this um, Franklin Covey roles and values. So it gives you like what to do. Basically, these are the instructions. Okay, so if you've never seen this before, this is what it looks like. So your values, this is where you're going to write a clarifying statement for every value that you do. So um, again, it's all in the instructions. So if you're interested in filling this out, you can actually purchase the starter pack from Franklin Covey. And I think there's actually some inserts if you purchase like the yearly inserts. Some of them also come with the starter pack. So that is your values and then your roles. So you can put like, you know, if you're a mom or if you're a daughter or whatever, and then you can put key people related to that role and your clarifying statement. Right. And then step activity three is your starting point questions. So all you do is basically journal. You fill out the question that is asked. Um, same thing under the activity four. So just fill out the prompts. Um, and then you have tribute statements, evaluation questions, and then all of this information kind of leads you to your per personal mission statement. So it gives you examples of mission statements and mission statements can be um, really long. It can be in point form. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be anything. It can be whatever you need it to be. So um, I'm going to journal through that as well. So I think what we'll do is two separate videos because all of this journaling will take a little bit of time. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little introductory video. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will have some more videos on this information. And um, I'm going to have so we'll have like two more journaling videos and then I'm also going to have kind of like how I set up my binder. So we'll do like a binder switch video where I put in all of the different inserts into the new binder I'll be using for January. So let's see what I planned here. So all I had planned for this, um, I did want to do more journaling for this video because I was going to have only two uh, videos for goals. So one was going to be the Franklin Covey um, goal prep one. Where is it? Wow. Mm, okay. So I had Franklin goals part one, which is a posting on the 23rd of December. Then I had, um, goal prep part two. So I'm going to switch it to the 27th of December. Then I'm going to have Franklin switch binders. And then I'm going to have my Franklin January set up. So yeah, and I'm not quite sure where I'll have room for another video. So I'm just going to look on this on the Monday because usually I have only one video. So I usually have my makeup Monday video and I'm pretty sure I have, yeah, I've got my budget prep going live. That was on the 12th, my goal prep on the 19th. I've got... So maybe on the 26th, I don't, if I only have one video on the 26th, maybe what we'll do is make three videos for Franklin and I'll have um, the first one on the 23rd, the second one on the 26th, and then I'll do the third one on the 27th and then we'll have the switch binder. So I'll show you guys like 
um, all of the sections in my binder, I think that might be a good idea because I, I really want to make sure that I get the full meal deal for you guys so you guys can see exactly how I have everything set up, what I've used in my binder. Um, and there's going to be a lot of stuff. Like I've got a lot of inserts. My binders usually are jam-packed full every month. This one will be no exception. I've got a lot of new inserts from cloth and paper I'm planning on using for 2023. And um, I'm excited to set it up. So this is some of the inserts that you guys will see in that setup. So I hope you are as excited as I am. So let me know if you liked this video. I know it was a, a quicker one in the grand scheme of things, I suppose. And give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you're new and click on that bell button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends.